Oh, pardon me. Did you know that April is National Poetry Month? Yes, I know that April is National Poetry Month. So let's just pop some popcorn. Let's just have some fun and talk about poetry. I know there's a lot going on in April. My birthday takes place in April and Old School April also takes place in April. And that is a readathon, watchathon, nostalgiathon that is created by Kelsey from Slime and Slashers. And there are a lot of co-hosts and a lot of prompts. So I'm going to link Kelsey's announcement video down below. But I just want to say that you could fit our group read into a couple of the prompts. Technically, it's a poem, but it is an epic poem. So I don't think Kelsey or any of the other co-hosts are going to come police you and say you can't do that. But our group read for Popcorn and Poetry is Christabel by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. And two of the prompts for Old School April you could use for Christabel. One is the Teen Witch prompt. And the other is the Monster Squad prompt. And like I said, I will leave Kelsey's announcement video down below so you can get more information about Old School April. So I certainly don't want to do anything that's going to interfere with that. That is why this is going to be very casual popcorn and poetry with only one group read, Christabel. I will also link Christabel down in the description box below because you can read it online for free. I want us to have a live discussion for Christabel, but that will take place in May again, so as not to interfere with any of the old school April events that are taking place. If you would like to come on the live show and talk about Christabel with me as a guest, I would love uh, for you to do that so you can let me know about that too. So that's the only group read. And there's really only one prompt, and that is to read any poem from the Romantic era that features vampire symbolism. So obviously Christabel is one, and that can be the only one you read, right? That's the group read. A couple of other suggestions, if you want something shorter, um, you could read La Belle Dame Sans Merci by John Keats. A longer poem, too, by John Keats is La Mia. Also in the same uh, writer as Christabel, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, in the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, there is vampire symbolism. So those are a few ideas. I will leave some more suggestions down below in the description box too. But again, this is just going to be a casual, fun popcorn and poetry. I know some people tend to get intimidated by poetry, but I want to show you how much fun it can be. And with the particular focus this time on vampire symbolism in romantic poetry. So I hope you will join me for this very casual event in April, popcorn and poetry. I look forward to having some fun while we talk about some poems. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you're going to participate and be sure to check those links for the group reading of Christabel, as well as some of the other poems that you can read this month too, or in April technically, right? Because this is going up in March. Thank you. Bye.